Hey guys, welcome back to Press Factory Zone Act 1. Uh, let me turn on the volume for myself really quick. I checked in the last recordings, the audio mixing is uh, fine. At least I think so. I no, no, don't know what your personal preference is, but um, yeah. A little side effect, I... Uh, just had a thought because I was watching YouTube shorts and I don't know why but I get a lot of content from like the Tate brothers and the one construction worker friend they have obviously I don't agree with everything they tell us you and the world but I do think Oh, you see in the back when like the boom is going to happen, that's cool. I do think there's a lesson to be learned from everything in life. Like even from those guys. Obviously you can also say, yeah, they're just my son logistics bastards that are super rich. I think it's just. I mean, you can think that everybody has their own will and everything. But it can also just be like, hey, maybe there are that. But I do think he has. He's right on that, that, and that point. Anyway, this is not the topic I wanted to talk about before I'm getting cancelled on X, Twitter. I don't care. I'm going to just call it Twitter because X.com sounds like a porn site. I think I just saw the ring up there, but yeah, we won't make it. So the thought I had was... Oh. When are you truly happy? Like, yeah, I thought about it as when you have a process of doing something. Like, there, there are certain goals in life you want to achieve. I don't know what it is for you. Maybe you want to become a millionaire. Maybe you want to have a family. Maybe you want to have the biggest collection of Pokemon cards ever. But when, when are you truly happy? Like, all the time along the way? Hell no. You're going to open up a lot of Pokemon card decks that are going to be awful. Oh no, I can't use it anymore. Amazing. So, that cannot be the answer. Like, uh, Jim, we have a saying, the way is the goal. Like, the way to the goal is the actual goal itself. So we just debunk that. But is the destination really the goal? Because he worked so hard and long for something, he spent hundreds of hours in it, and then you're using it, for example, you build a car for hundreds of hours, then you drive it. But is... Are you truly satisfied then? Or was... Working on it... It's more entertaining goal. Because when you work on car, you mostly work on like... You work on like an old timer. And you're not going to daily it. Obviously there are people who daily everything. They build. But still, like for myself, I think the happiest moments are while building something. You know, like every, not like the whole time, but every time you have, you have done a little goal, you know? Every time where you can be like, oh, Today I managed to put in, when we stay with car theme, to manage I put, I managed to put the engine back together. Or today I managed to disassemble the engine. You know, that's a nice step. And also, um, after having worked on multiple vehicles, I would say the first start is also more important than the actual first drive. 
Even though the first drive should be the, the goal. Yeah, it's just what I had. I mean, happiness can also come from other people. But is that happiness also not something you just get along the way out of more and more happiness? Like, for example, when you raise children, you, the end goal is like to kick them out of the house and finally, finally have time for yourself again. Joking. But every time along the way they say I love you, it's just a roadblock along the way that you really like. Yeah, I wish I would have time to phrase, phrase this out uh, more adequate. But, uh... Hey, the thing in the bag is giving me a little bit of the creeps. Probably when he has full energy, he kills me or something. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting idea. And probably everybody has to find their own answer to. Shit. And I hope you will find your own answer to that, because otherwise, what would be life if it's just humbling? I mean, obviously there are always going to be be times that are uh, that are bothersome and uh, struggling. But in the end, uh, to quote another German saying. You are your own Lux. Uh, yes. How's it called in English? Uh, give me a second. Words. Oh, just damage. Okay. Okay, you're all, you're your own Lux, uh, Lux Smith, or like Block. I said Luck with, with you. Like, if you want to experience luck, you also gotta give it the chance to even develop for you. If you do everything, for example, at the bare minimum, obviously one day it's going to... Shit. To be brought back to you. <laughs> like, when you work like I at the big machine shop that builds big machines for their customers, if you always work just on the bare minimum of the requirements, it's not the chance that it's going to work probably the first time are low. All right, this game doesn't have any lives. That's that's interesting. I mean, I don't care. And obviously, there are still people in the world. Who can just do nothing against the situation and are in a bad situation. I just hope when you are in this sort of situation that somebody from outside comes and tries to help you. But uh, the only thing I can say is the smirky side of would say, never give up, seek help, and stuff like that. But you know, I think. I Everything that should have been said has been said in that regard. Ah. I just hope you're living a good peaceful life full of happiness. There are always going to be times when it's sad. There are always going to be times when you just don't know what to do anymore. Jesus Christ.
<laughs> they don't break fast enough, I gotta wait for one cycle. to go up there. Sometimes I wish I would have ta taken a uh, philosophy class in school. I did not, because my schedule I have to meet, like the number of hours, was full. It was at the bare minimum, but it was full. Thus, why should I even care? That's also why I didn't have religion anymore as a school subject. Even though I didn't, I don't really give a lot about religion. I think everybody just has their own opinion, and that's fine. But I, I, I liked the talks we had with the teacher because he also did more of like a philosophy thing with us. It was uh, interesting to, to uh, talk about that. I like to hear what, for example, actually is proven by science that happened like 2000 years ago. So, um, to sum it up, I think my feeling of su success can be also, uh, my feeling of happiness, did I say happiness or did I say success already, but anyway, my, f my definition of happiness can be interchanged with success, like doing something successful. That gives me a uh, happiness. And like somebody wants sad, also like paraphrasing out of German. Probably going to work like a charm, right? The crazy thing about luck is you, you don't recognize luck while you truly are lucky. You only recognize it once it's gone, you know? Er, like, every, when you think about it, you, you always do that. People always think about how bad a situation is. How much life or something sucks at the moment. You never experience how truly lucky you are and, you know, say, can always be worse. And that's totally true. It can be fucking worse. My A button isn't working. Now it works again. Like when was, something was running at the ground, I think it was sort of stuck in animation. Because I couldn't jump. Jesus Christ. I hate the one hit the one hit KO. I this is it just said I hit? I hate. 
Jesus Christ. Talking is hard, especially if you want to stay on a uh, rather serious topic. Go. Go up there. Wow. So we can walk through his legs, that's good to know. Jesus Christ, I didn't want to walk any further. I thought the uh, 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 gold success on this boss fight was where the platforms were, the platforms, but uh, guess they were not. It's a typical walk behind him and then hit him. Boss fight. Oh shit. Thing was crazy fast. He said a one hit. I cannot do anything. Should I have gone more right? No, I want to walk through his legs. But Sonic can't because it always gets like hit up by the, the instant of the shock. If I don't have a ring, just go ahead, Eggman. Is it just me or is the bloom better right now? Like, now I could clearly see Sonic's, like, sprite looking like when he dies. Maybe it was just last time when I changed all the settings, I had to restart the game, which it didn't say. Maybe I just skipped over it. Everything is possible. Yeah, think about it, like, um, like luck is in the small things of life. I don't think, like, actually small things, just normally unrecognizable things, you know? Like the short moments where we just have, like, hey, uh, I, I, I had luck with that and that. I'm not going to think about it, like, oh yeah, I really had luck there, you're just gonna be like, huh, that was cool. If he kills us. No, so that's how we would have survived. Finally. I am bastard. Andrew Tavius I watched, he was talking about like, yeah, how, how, how it is being rich and like how some pe poor people probably say, yeah, he's rich, but he's probably not, uh, probably doesn't have fun in life anymore. He just goes like, ah, that's stupid. But I don't, I don't think it's that far off. Like, obviously he is rich, can buy everything he wants. But does he still get... Uh, only, I think he only gets satis... Or like, not him, but rich people in general. Maybe only get satisfaction from it. You no, know, like the not an actual feeling of I had to really work hard for this and now I can afford it. Kind of feeling. Maybe he still has. Because, as what it seems like, he is a self-made billionaire.
But for example, somebody who gets born rich, do they ever have a feeling of satisfaction? When they buy something or they're just going to be like, oh yeah, I bought something, I'm satisfied for the moment, but I'll buy something else in five minutes. Like, a colleague from work, he bought an iPhone 15, uh, 14 when it came out, and he had to get his money for it for quite a long time. So he's, like, super satisfied with the thing. The same with, like, uh, some of the effect old school games have. And uh, we liked them more because back in the day we had to wait really long for those games. Now if I want to have a game, I just buy it. And if it's shit, I just won't play it anymore. Back in the day when a game was shit. What else were you supposed to do? Not play it anymore? Like, you, you, you just either spend a birthday present, Christmas present, or like your money that you collected over half a year, or multiple years, to buy this game. You still are going fucking play it. Because you are just... Just don't have any other choice, you know? Interesting. And if you wish uh, to have more uh, philosophical, uh, stupid philosophical, the stupid philosophical inter interpretations of life by Daniel, uh, you just gotta subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't actually care what you do. I'm not doing this. Be successful, otherwise. Uh, I would, I would have done like let's plays. Jesus, who still watches let's plays, especially from unestablished channels? I'm just doing this for fun. Maybe share a bit of my ideas of life, and the other goal is to have like cross promotion with this channel and done right. Maybe in the future, but this is just a secondary thing. I guess it's all the ter 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 tertiary? Tertiary? I don't know how to pronounce in English. A lot of things, because I want to do- I want to use fancy words, but I don't know how to pronounce fancy words. Uh, yeah, sorry. The, the, the secondary objective of this channel is first force me and Quinton to actually finish and play some games. For me, it's just to play some games I want to play and I just always be like, nah, you just don't want to start them right now. And for Quinton, it's the same, but also to finish games because he never does. Like, seriously. Why is this Switch game? Never finishes it because why should he? We have to get down, okay. It's also like a rule that has been burned into my brain since childhood. B uh, before you can play the next game, you gotta finish the game you already have bought. Because otherwise it would be would have been a waste of money. Because as a child, you didn't have money. So I had like one Wii game I play at a time, maybe two. Like uh, talking about new ones, obviously just go back and play some Mario Kart for some time to time. This is also why I didn't buy that many Wii games because uh, I played in one One Piece game. I always talk about with Wii games. Put multiple hundreds of hours in it. And then why should I buy something else if I can still play that? And I have beaten it for the f uh, 
like uh, for the person beat it on easy then you get the other difficulties but yeah at first i'll be on easy and i'll be on normal and i beat it on hard and i beat it on very hard like yeah there's no content more per hour, hundreds of hours of content Like, the really only big games from my childhood from the Wii are like the, the first part of the One Piece game, the second one wasn't really that much of it. I don't know, I just like the first one more, even though the uh, moveset of the second one are cooler. A lot is fluid. At least for the best character in this game, uh, Zoro. But if I look the shelf for my beat games. The games I played were like a year of Animal Crossing, like everybody does. You just played maximum a year and then you stop. Then, um, yeah, Super Mario Bros. that we got for release that was done rather quick. I have played a bit of Sonic Unleashed, but then I got in uninterested for a long time because of the Werehawk. Mario Kart Wii, sure. That's just a now and then game. And you have one, the One Piece game and, uh, Mario Galaxy 2. And that's about it. Like, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah, Twilight Princess. Obviously. So, in general, just like three really hardcore, in quotation, story games like Twilight Princess, the One Piece game, and Mario Galaxy 2. Like, so many One Piece games, One Piece Wii games, I could have bought, but I just never did. Guys, I think we're getting to the end game because zones are taking six minutes now. Um, this is bad. You know, you're gonna jump on his head, but I don't know how. Oh, he jumps too. Shit. I wanted to record multiple parts today, but this one is now close to getting third to the 30 minute mark. Like, you know, when I when we beat the last level, I was like, yeah, just one more, you know, I want to add one more egg, like, maximum five minutes. If it's a long one. Jesus Christ, and if I mess up the boss multiple times. But now we're here, and, uh, fuck. Why are there even rings here, you know? Why can't I use the thing now? Like, I can at least jinx one hit. Jesus Christ. Or I can just jinx the whole boss fight. That's probably right here in the middle. Or it's not because it's still here. Yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, Skulls 2020, one of the best years ever. Well then, see you in the next part.